Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Planet Zoo complaining video. <laughs> My name is Leaf, and it's always a pleasure to see all you guys today. Now, before we get involved in today's fe festivities that I've kind of lined out for us today, I do want to stop and take a moment to thank you all. We finally hit 1,000 subscribers, and I never saw this coming so quickly, so I really want to thank each and every single one of you guys. You guys are such an amazing reason as to why I do this. Like, I just love seeing how all you guys enjoy the stuff that I put out, and it just means a lot that you guys enjoy it. So, yeah, hopefully this leads to even more videos that you enjoy in the future. <laughs> now, today we are going to talk about the DLC strategy that Frontier has. And while I'm going to preface, preface this, Aquatic Pack is probably the best pack that they've released so far. But it's the one I'm going to be using as a way to, you know, fix up the DLCs. But yeah, so I've essentially laid out everything that we needed over here. And everything that they pretty much included, except for all the scenery, because that was going to take me a while. And I just want to get this out as soon as possible. <laughs> so yeah, let's just jump right into it. Yep, said the thing once again. So one of the problems that I have with the DLCs is that, you know, it's oftentimes tailored towards one way or the other. And for instance, for Aquatic, it was more so tailored towards the more, how you say, more realism side of Planet Zoo. And yeah, that is the side that I tend to love a lot more. It's a side that, like, I don't know, I was really introduced with, with, like, uh, Bronation and all that stuff. But it lacks a clear sense of theming. And if we just jump into all of this schmutz, we see that we don't really get much as for quote-unquote aquatic. While we do get some stuff like this, like, it doesn't really do justice for the aquatic theming. And while, like, yeah, these are some of the best blueprints we've ever gotten, I would have loved to have seen a lot more, you know... <sighs> more aquatic tailored theming i understand that we have like the river mural and that looks fantastic and we have the uh where's the ice one or like the glacier one i'm gonna find it it's right here yeah and like yeah these are good for like you know if you have the caiman or the otter or if you have the seal and the penguin but like what beyond that you know <laughs> like it's like, you're... I don't know. I feel like a DLC pack, and hear me out on this because I'm going to go extra crazy on this. A DLC pack should not only just give you things that weren't in the game to begin with, but it should give you stuff that would expand on the original gameplay of the game. So if we go in here and we go to brand... no, not brand, theme go to Planet Zoo, we have all the basic stuff. And here's one of my main problems with the uh, DLCs in particular. It's that we never expand upon the Planet Zoo brand. And that is such an overlooked potential because this one is number one for realism. It's number one if you're trying to build like a nice basic park without too heavy of theming. So if we go in here and we go to Aquatic, for example, like these are probably the closest that we'll get, but it just still doesn't really do it. I don't know, like, I feel like we should really be focusing on incorporating a lot more basic essentials alongside the DLC theming. For instance, if we go into one that's kind of notorious for being so, you know, full of itself, uh, South America. And we got the Jaguar one. And we got this looking one. And we have the bin, which is, you know, South American themed. And we have this, which is, you know, South American themed. But yeah, like, you can't really do much with this outside of a South American, like, South American theme. And it kind of sucks, because when you're building, like, a realistic zoo, that's not a realistic zoo at all, but you will want to focus on pieces like these. You'll want to focus on pieces that really, like, 
work across the board, and that's something that I wish that they would include going forward in DLCs, but, you know, we're, like, at the end of Planet Zoo's lifespan, so I really doubt that they would include anything like that. Going forward, <laughs> I have a lot of stuff I'm going to talk about. Let's talk about, like, all the good stuff, though, because the plants, they are not, like, focusing on a certain point of the world. Granted, it's a lot more tropical than anything, but it's perfect. Like, all these plants are absolutely essential for zoos. Except for maybe the Titan, but, like, who cares? <laughs> and the faux rocks are amazing as well. And the faux trees. That was a necessity, 100%. And I'm really... I'm so happy that Frontier included them. But I really wish we had, like, I don't know, some more aquatic rocks... Like, that's amazing for realism, but, I don't know, maybe some, like, darker... Like, for instance, you go in here, biome, aquatic, you don't have anything. <laughs> so if we go in here, uh, yeah, if we go to biome, aquatic, we have no rocks. And, yeah, I guess you could just use any kind of rocks, but it still would have been nice to flesh that out. And speaking of fleshing out, we're gonna go over here to one of my friends... <laughs> Now, the transport system in this game is amazing. I remember how, like, back in Zoo Tycoon 2, we all flipped out when, I think it was Sophie or it was Snowleo who added, like, a boat tour using, like, the Jeep tour. And we were all like, oh my god, I can't believe you did that. Now we finally have a boat tour in the Zoo game, and it's not all that good. I mean, <laughs> we can watch it go, and it can... You know, it goes like that. It's kind of funny how it works outside water, but, like, the problem with this, it's just so themed, and it looks too African. And if you're doing, like, you know, an Asian zoo, or you're doing, like, a North American zoo, this doesn't look good. It doesn't blend in. And that's, like, the main drawback of this. You can't really use it to your best advantage. And the aquatic pack would have been the perfect pack to include a modern boat. For example, uh, yeah, I think Nick designed this one. An airboat would have been perfect to, like, plop down on here. Because, you know, it's oftentimes used in, like, aquatic settings. Well, obviously, it's a friggin' boat. But it would have been a perfect addition alongside the Cayman. And it would have been awesome to have. Like, I have no idea why Frontier doesn't capitalize on this little section down here it's it's a little upsetting because i love having alternative ways to view zoos like without the need of i don't know for example walking around but i don't know even with this like what is this the uh monorail that would have been perfect for like i don't know oh, I, I really don't know actually <laughs> um let's just say australia and we could have gotten, like, a nice... Let's see the Australia theme, because... I know, like, a lot of... Ugh. Blueprints. Any? Maybe? Oh. Hello? Why isn't this working? Okay, there we go. And, like, with all this stuff, and, like, all the rundown looks of everything, it would have been perfect for, like, you know, a new Skytram or something. But it's just these problems that I have with the DLC. And you know what? I would even consider paying $15 per expansion if they include, like, all the stuff that I'm listing off here. But I know they won't because you can't just go back and remake a DLC. It just doesn't work that way. Now, here we go for another little something. And let's pull out... Let's find our Terrapin. So, one of my main problems with the exhibits is that they're too good. For their own good and by that I mean they're so versatile that you can't really do much with them within the current game settings I mean look at me I took I have the mod that takes away the glass because it allows me to do a lot more stuff with it and yeah the turtles were a great addition this setup is a great addition but why wouldn't they include fish this is a perfect pack for fish like it just disheartens me to see, like, oh, yeah, we included a terrapin, but it's essentially the same as an exhibit animal, and it still goes on here. And, like, 
know, it still functions the same and you can't remove the glass or anything like that. It's just these small things that Frontier could have done that would have really pushed the game forward and like tested the limits. I mean, I don't know. I I'm not sure about all you guys. I think you guys might just think I like to complain just to complain, which, you know, there's a little bit of truth in that, <laughs> but it's just all these small things that really could have been improved upon. I don't know. It's just kind of a shame to see like these steps not being taken. It's like not getting an airboat ride, which, you know, you could have just taken out the shell of this, kept the seats, and it still would have functioned the same. Uh, you could have, I mean, we've done it ourselves. I've seen Nick like move the water up there and he put fish in that in like within a day. And I don't know. Instead, we get like mirrored versions of all these statues but you know at least these ones are flexi color but you know that's besides the point and oh no even for habitats we didn't even get that much we got like the uh fish feeder but that was in the update that wasn't even within the aquatic pack we got a rubber ducky and we got these like jetty pieces and like granted yeah these are amazing i absolutely love these i use them like pretty much all the time now but it just still doesn't, like, it doesn't sell it for me, and that's what kind of stinks. I don't know. I just really wish we would see all these key features that Frontier, like, boasted at the start and have them approve upon. I mean, am I missing anything else? I, like, prefab maps? Yeah, I guess we can jump into that. So let's, let's go to our main menu. Why not? We're gonna take a little field trip, guys. Everybody grab your exit, buddy, and whatnot. But, um, no, it's just all this stuff that Frontier doesn't capitalize on. And they have one good idea, and then it just, they never do it again. So, for instance, South America map. This was added in the South America update. And once we load in here, I can show you guys exactly what I mean. I've been saying this right from the start. We need more pre-terraform maps and like yeah some people might not like this because it's not like the blank slate but this gives such like an improvement to working with the land it like helps you learn how to use terrain to your advantage i mean i remember when i started a franchise zoo and yeah i do play franchise from time to time and i was like oh yeah there's not much room in this little entrance strip oh yeah I could just build on the mountain over here and I don't need to terraform it myself. It's just these small little, I don't know, improvements to the game that really make the experience a lot better. And even this, for like the aquatic pack, I really wish we had like a coastal map included with that. It makes, like, we've seen it before. We see it in like, um, I'm not even sure if I could go to that zoo right now, but the last career zoo. For Planet Zoo, it's like the one that you're on an island for in like the middle of New York, I think. But like, it's just all these things that Frontier doesn't capitalize on. And like, I really wish they would. It's the only one I haven't unlocked. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, let's actually check this one out because I haven't seen it yet. I just don't know, guys. Like, I know a lot of you guys may think I'm crazy. Like, oh, I'd pay five bucks more for a DLC pack which which is already my favorite DLC pack but like I don't know it's just kind of sad to see like all these features that you know we were all so excited for at launch and just get absolutely neglected neglected but yeah we can just load in here and see what this map has to offer anyways but yeah um in the meantime thank you guys so much for sticking with me I really do appreciate it uh it's so awesome to see like the growth this channel has had since like you know i first started it i started it like two years ago actually and if you guys go back and see like some of my first videos they're you know they're their videos all right but yeah even this like it's smaller than the original tropical map is that new no that's not even a new background that's the one they always had but yeah like it it doesn't work that you can't like go beyond the boundaries it doesn't like I don't know there's a lot of stuff I could change about this game but I don't know I really do hope you guys enjoyed if you did 
Uh, let me know what you guys think about like what I had to say. Let me know what your thoughts are on this because, you know, it's it's a loaded subject. I mean, oh yeah, like I hate pretty much the way this content is going. But I don't know. It's all up to you. I don't really. Yeah, I'm just tired. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and have a wonderful, wonderful day.